Sperry Corporation 1910-1986 was a major American equipment and electronics company whose existence spanned more than seven decades of the 20th century. Through a series of mergers it exists today as a part of Unisys, while some other of its former divisions became part of Honeywell, Lockheed Martin, United Technologies, and Northrop Grumman. The company is best known as the developer of the Artificial Horizon and a wide variety of other gyroscope-based aviation instruments like autopilots, bombsites, analog ballistics computers and gyro gun sights. In the post-World War II era they branched out into electronics, both aviation-related, and later, computers. Topic. Early history The company was founded in 1910, as the Sperry Gyroscope Company by Elmer Ambrose Sperry to manufacture navigation equipment, chiefly his own inventions. The Marine Gyrostabilizer and the Gyro Compass at 40 Flatbush Avenue, extension in downtown Brooklyn. During World War I the company diversified into aircraft components including bomb sites and fire control systems. In their early decades, Sperry Gyroscope and related companies were concentrated on Long Island, New York, especially in Nassau County. Over the years, it diversified to other locations. In 1918, Lawrence Sperry split from his father to compete over aero instruments with the Lawrence Sperry Aircraft Company, including the new automatic pilot. In 1924, following the death of Lawrence on December 13, 1923, the two firms were brought together. The company became Sperry Corporation in 1933. The new corporation was a holding company for a number of smaller entities such as the original Sperry Gyroscope, Ford Instrument Company, Intercontinental Aviation, Inc., and others. The company made advanced aircraft navigation equipment for the market, including the Sperry Gyroscope and the Sperry Radio Direction Finder. Sperry supported the work of a group of Stanford University inventors, led by Russell and Sigurd Varian, who had invented the Klystron, and incorporated this technology and related inventions into their products. The company prospered during World War II as military demand skyrocketed, ranking 19th among U.S. corporations in the value of wartime production contracts. It specialized in high-technology devices such as analog computer-controlled bomb sites, airborne radar systems, and automated takeoff and landing systems. Sperry also was the creator of the ball turret gun mounted under the Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress and the consolidated B-24 Liberator, as commemorated by the film Memphis Bell and the poem The Death of the Ball Turret Gunner. Post-war, the company expanded its interests in electronics and computing, producing the company's first digital computer, SPEEDAC, in 1953. During the 1950s, a large part of Sperry Gyroscope moved to Phoenix, Arizona and soon became the Sperry Flight Systems Company. This was to preserve parts of this defense company in the event of a nuclear war. The Gyroscope Division remained headquartered in New York. In its massive lake success, Long Island, plant, which also served as the temporary United Nations headquarters from 1946 to 1952, into the 1980s. Sperry Rand In 1955, Sperry acquired Remington Rand and renamed itself Sperry Rand. Acquiring then Eckert Mouchley Computer Corporation and Engineering Research Associates along with Remington Rand, the company developed the successful Univac Computer Series and signed a valuable cross-licensing deal with IBM. The company remained a major military contractor. From 1967 to 1973 the corporation was involved in an acrimonious antitrust lawsuit with Honeywell, Inc. C. Honeywell v. Sperry Rand. In 1961, Sperry Rand was ranked 34th on the Fortune 500 list of largest companies in the United States. In 1978, Sperry Rand decided to concentrate on its computing interests and sold a number of divisions, including Remington Rand Systems, Remington Rand Machines, Ford Instrument Company, and Sperry Vickers. The company dropped Rand 
from its title and reverted to Sperry Corporation. At about the same time as the RAND acquisition, Sperry Gyroscope decided to open a facility that would almost exclusively produce its marine instruments. After considerable searching and evaluation, a plant was built in Charlottesville, Virginia, and in 1956, Sperry Piedmont Division began producing marine navigation products. It was later renamed Sperry Marine. In the 1970s, Sperry Corporation was a traditional conglomerate headquartered in the Sperry Rand Building at 1290 Avenue of Americas in Manhattan, selling typewriters, Sperry Remington, office equipment, electronic digital computers for business and the military, Sperry Univac, construction and farm equipment, Sperry New Holland, avionics, e.g., gyroscopes, radars, air route traffic control equipment, Sperry Vickers, Sperry Flight Systems and consumer products electric razors Sperry Remington in addition Sperry Systems Management headquartered in the original Sperry Gyroscope building in Lake Success did a fair amount of government defense contracting Sperry also managed the operation from 1961 to 1975 of the large Louisiana Army ammunition plant near Minden. Sperry bought out and continued the RCA line of electronic digital computers, architectural cousins to the IBM System 360. In 1983, Sperry sold Vickers to Libby Owens Ford, later to be renamed Trinova Corporation and subsequently Aeroquip Vickers. Topic. Burroughs takeover In 1986, after the success of a second hostile takeover bid engineered by Burroughs CEO and former U.S. Secretary of the Treasury, Michael Blumenthal, Sperry Corporation merged with Burroughs Corporation to become Unisys. The takeover came about even after Sperry used a poison pill in the form of a major share price hike to dissuade the hostile bid, as a result of which Burroughs had to borrow much more from the banks than was anticipated in order to complete the bid. Certain internal divisions of Sperry were sold off after the merger, such as Sperry New Holland 1986, to Ford Motor Company, who in 1991 sold the Ford New Holland line to Fiat and Sperry Marine to Tenneco, in 1987, and is currently part of Northrop Grumman. Also sold to Honeywell was Sperry Flight Systems, while Sperry Defense Products Group was sold to Laurel, those two units whose functions were originally at the heart of the venerable Sperry Gyroscope Division. This group is now part of Lockheed Martin. Topic. British Sperry Sperry in Britain started with a factory in Pimlico, London, in 1913, manufacturing gyroscopic compasses for the Royal Navy. It became the Sperry Gyroscope Co. Ltd. in 1915. In 1923, Lawrence Sperry was killed in an air crash near Rye, Sussex. The company subsequently expanded to the Golden Mile, Brentford in 1931 Stonehouse, Gloucestershire in 1938, and Bracknell in 1957. By 1963, these sites employed some 3,500 people. The Brentford site closed in 1967, with the expansion of Bracknell. Stonehouse closed around 1969. By 1969, the Sperry Gyroscope Division of Sperry Rand Corporation employed around 2,500. The site of the Bracknell Factory and Development Center, sold to British Aerospace in 1982, is commemorated by a 4.5 meter aluminum sculpture by Philip Bentham, Sperry's new symbolic gyroscope. 1967. In 1989, the Bracknell site was downsized and work was moved to the Sperry Manufacturing Site in Plymouth by then under the British. British Aerospace brand. State-of-the-art, high-technology MEMS gyroscopes together with other avionics equipment are still made on the site today, although the company is now owned by United Technologies Corporation and is part of UTC Aerospace Systems. Topic. Sperry since 1997 
The name Sperry lives on in the company Sperry Marine, headquartered in Charlottesville, Virginia. This company, formed in 1997, from three well-known brand names in the marine industry, Sperry Marine, Decca, and C. Plath, is now part of Northrop Grumman Corporation. It is a worldwide supplier of navigation, communication, information and automation systems for commercial marine and naval markets. Topic. Products Topic. Aircraft Hewitt Sperry Automatic Airplane Sperry Land and Sea Triplane Verville Sperry M1 Messenger Verville Sperry R3 Racer Topic. Missiles and rockets Sperry MGM-29 Sergeant Topic. In popular culture The 1986 comedy Jumpin' Jack Flash features many Sperry computers in the bank where the protagonist played by Whoopi Goldberg works. Jim Belushi plays the role of a Sperry repairman. Topic. See also Hendrick Wade Bode Director, Military Gun Data Computer Fire Control System Carrison Predictor Mapper Rangekeeper Sperry Drilling Services <laughs>